Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this lecture, I am going to give a list of uh, formula on three phase AC circuits. So we covered all the lectures related to theoretical derivations, everything we covered. Next, we want to practice problems. Before solving problems, it is a better idea to list out all the formulas which comes under three phase AC circuits. Okay, got it? So let, let me write all the formulas. Please copy down all these formulas in a separate sheet. It is very much required to solve problems. Okay. See, 99% if you know the formula, simply apply the formula to the given data. Okay. Of a given question. 100% you will get answer. Okay. Only two steps. You must understand the question. Second step is you must know the formula. For the given question, which formula I should select? If you know the two, two methods, you will get full marks. Okay. Rest is calculator will take care. Okay. So let me list out all the formulas consider three phase AC circuits. So first formula. Okay. See, we studied uh, measurement of line voltage and phase voltage. So relation between line and phase quantities for both star as well as delta connection. So that we can uh, list out now itself. That is first one. In star connection, line current and phase current are equal. And line voltage is root 3 times of phase voltage. So this is valid for star connection. Okay. In a question, if they given star connection means you must know this relations. Okay, star connection. So next one is second one. Similarly, for delta connection, line voltage is equal to phase voltage and line current is root 3 times of phase current. So this is valid for delta connection. See, if, if you don't know these relations, you cannot solve problems. Means you don't know anything about uh, the concept you have learned in three phase AC circuit. Okay. See, star connection in problems they may give with the letter Y. Okay. This Y indicates star representation and for delta they will give triangle symbol. Okay. A three phase this symbol connection they will give. Then you should understand that is delta connection. Okay. Got it. See, in problem they may give line voltage. Then they are going to ask to find phase voltage. From this relation, if I know line voltage, I can easily find phase voltage. What is the formula I can write? Phase voltage. From this, phase voltage can be written as line voltage by root 3. Got it? Similarly, in this case, if I know the line current, to find phase current, I can use this relation. Line current divided by root 3. This thing you must know first. So later, wattmeter readings. So wattmeter readings, W1 is VL IL into cos 30 minus pi and W2 reading is VL IL into cos 30 plus pi. Okay. See, these two wattmeter readings are valid. Okay, or valid for lagging power factor load. Okay, lagging power factor load for both for both star and delta connection. For both star and delta connected loads. See, this formulas W1 and W2 is valid for both star connection as well as delta connection. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Understood? This is equation valid for both star as well as delta connection but only at lagging power factor. So then what happens if the power factor is leading? See if the power factor is leading then nothing will happen. This minus will become plus. Then W1 reading will be 30 plus pi and W2 reading will be 30 minus pi. VL IL into 30 minus pi. So this is 
the watt meter readings when power factor is leading so for leading power factor whether star and delta are connected load whether it may be star connected or delta connected for both star and delta when power factor is leading then you remember watt meter equations like this w1 and w2 okay just nothing both are same only only sign changes minus become plus plus become minus that's it but i recommend all my members and students subscribers viewers whether leading or lagging take this formulas only w1 vl i cos 30 minus pi w2 you take vl i cos 30 plus pi take this readings only whether power factor is leading or lagging okay so definitely from this we can find watt meter readings nature of the power factor we should say whether lagging or leading for that i will tell another logic okay so got it so next one is watt meter formula or uh, sorry power factor formula based on watt meter readings so power factor formula is pf is equal to cos within the bracket tan inverse root 3 times of root 3 times of w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 okay see this formula is valid whether the power factor of the load is lagging or leading whether lags or leads same formula you can write down okay whatever the readings given in the question apply the readings here then you can easily find power factor see keep in mind the power factor value will never become negative your the range of the power factor is to 0 to 1 only so the power factor your value should comes between 0 to 1 only not more than 1 and not negative got it that that indicates you have done correct okay if you not taken proper readings then your power factor may come 2000 3000 1 lakh 1 crore some students will uh, get those answers okay keep in mind your answer should come 0 to 1 only so next is see if i apply this formula from this i will get only power factor numerical value okay i cannot say whether lag or leading from this formula to determine nature of the power factor okay use this formula tan pi is equal to root 3 times of w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 okay use this formula to determine nature of the power factor so make a note note if if you got a tan pi value some positive then you can tell power factor is lagging lagging power factor see watt meter readings given in the question apply the watt meter readings here find all this in the calculator if you get a positive value then you can tell the nature of the power factor is lagging okay similarly if you get a tan pi value negative then power factor is leading then power factor is leading got it see here what happens what meter readings you will get apply all the readings do it in calculator you may get 0.6 or 0.9 as a power factor value from this you get only value cannot tell leading or lagging leading and lagging can be tell by sorry we can decide by tan pi uh, value if we get tan pi value positive you can tell lagging power factor negative leading power factor clear cut so you will get here only value for example if you got 0 0.9 lag or lead means you should take this formula okay then use this one you will get an answer positive positive means simply more than zero okay negative means less than zero that's it okay any value it come for example 0.53 that is positive value minus 0.53 negative value so positive means lagging negative means leading stick on this to determine nature of the power factor remember this formula okay got it
Okay, guys. Uh, you must know the per phase quantities to solve problems on three phase circuits. If you know the per phase value, from that you can easily find line values. See, if I know phase current, I can find line current. If I know phase voltage, I can find line voltage. So that is very much important. So VPH can be written as what is Ohm's law formula for voltage? V is equal to I into R. So, but in AC circuit, we are using impedance. So, phase, phase current into phase impedance will get phase voltage. Okay. So, this is very, very important. From this, I can also write impedance per phase is equal to phase voltage by phase current. And from this, I can also write phase current is equal to phase voltage by phase impedance. Okay. See, very, very important this one. This is very, very important. The problem, three-phase circuit problems, steps starts by, this is the major law, formulas required. Okay. To proceed the problems. Okay. Once I know VPH, I can find the VL. That's it. So, very, very important. Along with that, you must know how to convert polar to rectangular, rectangular to polar. See, in this equation, in all these equations, every value, VPH value, IPH value and ZPH value, all should be magnitude only. All should be in, all should be in magnitude form. All should be in magnitude form. See, for example, you will get an impedance in the question they will give. 3 plus J4, that is rectangular form. You convert that into polar form. 3 plus J4 will convert into polar form. We get 5 at an angle of 53.13 degree. That 5 is there now. That is magnitude. Okay. Got it? And pi is angle. Angle we can take it later. But in this equation, everything should be kept in uh, magnitude form only. If you got a ZPH, phi at an angle, 53.13 degrees, you take only phi value here. Don't take angle. Okay. Similarly, if you got a current, phase current, a 10 at an angle, 30 degree, take only magnitude. Okay. In polar form, the, we have two forms, uh, two quantities, magnitude and angle. You take only magnitude. Everything will be in magnitude. Very, very important. So, next is formulas. Okay. Active power formula, root 3 times of VL IL into cos pi. Reactive power formula, root 3 VL IL into sin pi. And apparent power formula, root 3 times of VL IL. Okay. All these formulas are valid for both star as well as delta. So what is unit of active power? watts larger rating kilowatt what is unit of reactive power volt ampere reactive higher rating kilo volt ampere rating unit of apparent power is volt ampere higher rating kilo volt ampere okay got it see all these formulas are valid for star and delta connection star and delta connection. Along with this, you must also know power per phase. Okay, this is three phase power. Okay, per phase power will be per phase power will be per phase voltage per phase current into cos pi. And reactive power per phase will be VPH IPH into sin pi. Similarly, Apparent power per phase will be VPH into IPH. Here also, okay, you write VPH and IPH value magnitude form only. And line voltage, line current, magnitude values, RMS values only you must write. See, in a current, if you got some any angle, don't take angle in all these equations. Okay, angle is here, here itself. Cos pi. What is this pi? This pi indicates what? Angle between line voltage and line current. Okay. That is that itself angle is there. Don't take angle here and here again. 
two types that leads a uh, wrong answer okay got it uh, dear students all these formulas are enough to solve problems simply by closing your eyes okay but uh, consider positively okay if you close your eyes means for the given data you must easily remember the respected formula for that particular question okay got it so along with this if any other formulas are there we can uh, discuss directly in the problem itself okay because a variety of problems will be there i am going to cover around uh, 10 plus problems on three phase circuits you go through all those problems within that only will come for exam maximum they can do data change i will include model question paper problems also okay so okay dear students have a nice day take care meet you on next lecture most waiting lecture problems on ac circuits three phase ac circuits all my members waiting for that lecture so it will be uploaded in next lecture so take care bye bye